It's the Warriors vs Rockets. We got the dream matchup we have been waiting for, but the Warriors just seem to be too experienced and talented to lose a series to the Rockets. The Rockets have been built to beat the Warriors by being able to shoot threes, but the Warriors are favorites. Still, there is one way that the Rockets could beat the Warriors. What is up dudes, dudettes, ballers, players, it's your boy MJ. The Rockets have been great, but the Warriors are champions with so many options and a great coach in Steve Kerr who has proven to be able to adjust. The Warriors haven't lost two games in a series since they got KD. Even if Harden and CP3 play well and their role players shoot well, they have no answer for KD and CP3 isn't enough to simultaneously guard Steph and Clay. The Warriors move the ball better than anyone while the the Rockets are worst in the league in passes and first in ISOs which just doesn't work against the Warriors. Let me know in the comments, who do you think will win this series and why? Now those ISO plays can work and I mean Harn and CP3 have done this. Still, I just think that to rely on iso ball against the Warriors won't work who are great defensively and can adjust to one or two guys trying to take over. What the Warriors weakness and what the Rockets have to capitalize on is Clint Capella. The Warriors best pick to guard Capella is JaVale McGee and while he has matured, I'm not counting on him especially after this. Two crappy plays versus the King. No, like, Watch him post this big man up real strong. Uh, Give me the ball! No, Give me the ball! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But the Warriors got their death lineup, the Hampton Five of Curry, Clay, Durant, Green, and Iguodala that makes big men obsolete because very few big men can stay with that small ball lineup and Green can defensively bother big men enough. Anthony Davis put up big numbers against the Warriors but the team around him just wasn't that great. For the Rockets, Capella doesn't need to have big scoring numbers. What he needs to do is have big rebounding numbers and be able to switch and guard any of those five. While that may seem impossible, Capella is already pretty quick on his feet. When guarding 3 point shooters, Capella actually causes a negative 5.7% on 3 point field goal percentage. Stick him on Draymond Green and now you're also mitigating Draymond Green's rebounding ability and reducing Green's ability to run the Warriors fast break. The Rockets coaching staff needs to take advantage of this matchup and find ways to switch on defense so that Capella stays in the paint. The Rockets offense already involves a lot of pick and rolls and that allows Capella to dives to the rim and box out to get the rebound. Capella has always been a great athletic rebounder. He's averaging 12.2 rebounds in the playoffs and an absurd 4.1 offensive rebounds per game. The Rockets shoot a lot and they need a guy like Capella to give them more shots. Just like these cases give your phone more drops with dope designs so check out athletic cases in the description. Capella is also a great rim protector but the Warriors shoot from the outside. They do score in the paint but the main focus for the Rockets defense has to be to make the Warriors uncomfortable. There's no defense in the NBA that has proven to consistently slow the Warriors, so the Rockets got to hang with them offensively and the only way they can do that is if Capella is able to stay on the court defensively to make an impact offensively. I expect Harden and CP3 to ball out, but even that's not enough. Do I think that the Warriors will win the series? Yeah, I do. But not because they have 4 all-stars, but because the way they play basketball is amazing. The way I see it, the only way the Rockets have any chance of being the Warriors is if everything falls into place for Harden and CP3 and Capella is utilized correctly. But what do you think? Can the Rockets beat the Warriors? Will Capella step up? Let me know in the comments down below. Drop a like if you like this video and if you are hyped to see the Warriors and Rockets face off. The Instagram shout of the day goes to Isabel and the all day notification squad shout goes to Akil. Love the profile picture and thanks for the all day support. Make sure to hit the bell for all day notifications and if you're not a sub, hit that subscribe button join the all day community for more fire content, all day support. It's your boy MJ. We out.